In eternity, when we are in the beatific vision, that we will see God face to face, we will continue to progress forever, to progress in love of God? To grow in the love of God why not? Well to answer it, we must consider two things, first, what we ourselves are in relation to God. Well, we love him with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our strength. We saw Jesus at the hour of our death and we now see his divinity face to face. We cannot love him anymore, we love him totally. And so if we love him totally, then we cannot love him anymore, there is no growth, no increase in intensity of love. On the other hand we see him in fullness, even to the extent of our desire. This is what we have acquired as humility, smallness of heart, and desire to see him who makes us happy. And so, as little Therese said, a little desire, like a little thimble of love, is filled with God. And an immense desire, comparable to a gigantic sea, is filled with God. What is the fuller of the two? Both are perfectly full. So in this respect, no growth. But there is a second aspect that we must consider. Of course we do not see God as God sees himself. We do not see God as the Father contemplates himself eternally and perfectly every second through his word. We see it with our measure to us. We have a human intelligence that is created and therefore limited. Result. What does God do? Well every second, every second, he shows a new aspect of him, infinite, gigantic, and at the same time new. And so he surprises us forever. The beatific vision never wears out. Moreover, it is the key to understanding why eternal life is possible without it being boring. Because all would be tired except God, so he is infinite. And being infinite, every second can renew infinitely, eternally, his novelty. And so in this respect we can say that we are progressing somewhere. But at the same time, we should not say it because the point one that I raised, namely we love it with all our heart, we cannot love it more, this point one it is, there too. So that's what is wonderful in the beatific vision. It is that it is at the same time an eternal stability, one will never lose it. And at the same time a novelty of every moment. No human love could give that. And little Therese besides said, I was looking for a love that never wears out, I eventually thought about the love of a man, but I found in you Lord, this possibility, so that I love you immensely without ever getting tired of you. So maybe I changed the lyrics a bit, but that's what she meant, actually.